It's JP Positive with another episode of Pokemon TCGO, guys. And today, I'm going to be going in and playing with my Mewtwo deck. And there will be the RCG at the end of this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that so you guys can see who wins those Pokemon TCGO booster codes from me, JP Positive. If anybody's new, like always, please remember to subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. I will be asking a secret question in this video for your chance to win free Pokemon TCGO booster code. So this is basically the deck. I'm going to go straight through it, guys. I will have the deck list in the description of this video so that you guys can check it out. But just to be very quick about it, these are some of the cards. If you want to pause it, you guys can check it out a lot more. And we're going to go straight into this first match. I did update the deck, so we're going to see how it goes. My one win streak was actually with my Dark Eye deck, not with this Mewtwo deck. But I just decided to, to play with this, and we're going to do the RCG at the end of this video. If anybody's new, or anybody that missed yesterday's video, I am having my July giveaway, which is going to be 25 Guardians Rising booster codes with a chance to win a secret rare double colorless energy if my giveaway video reaches more than 50 likes so yes we would like to go first and let's see what our f hand starts with we do get a lele we get an oranguru i definitely want to put the oranguru up first because i want to go ahead and get a supporter with my lele and we're going to be done there and we're going to put our Lele up as soon as our turn starts, depending on what we draw first. Okay, we drew another Ultra Ball, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and Ultra Ball and bring out the Mewtwo right away. So I will take away this Ultra Ball and I will take away... Hmm, I really don't want to lose the Verse Seeker, but the way that I want to plan this, I'm going to have to lose the Verse Seeker. So, we'll go ahead and bring out our Mewtwo with Shatter Shot. Whoops. Bring that right there. And bring him into our hand. We're going to go ahead and place him on the bench. We will go ahead and attach an Energy to the Mewtwo. We will go ahead and attach the Floatstone to the Oranguru. We will go ahead and throw Altar of the Moon out and draw two more cards for our Ranguru before we lay lay and get a N. It's going to have to be N now. I kind of didn't want to use N, but I can't stick more because I don't want to get rid of my lay lay. Hopefully we hit an energy. We don't, guys. So we're going to go ahead and lay lay and N our first turn. We will be retreating that Ranguru and bringing up the Mewtwo EX. Um, let's see what we have here, and there you go, and we're going to go ahead and use that right away. The RCG is going to be at the end of this video, guys. If you just started watching or you skipped the beginning for some reason, just so everybody knows. Let's see what we get with these new six cards. If anybody has any questions or any confusion, please leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Anybody who's waiting on receiving codes, I'm going to try and give out everything, all the codes tonight or tomorrow morning. That goes for the Facebook uh, giveaway, for the RCGs, all that. So I'm going to try and do it either tonight or tomorrow morning. If not in the morning, it's going to be around 5 p.m. Central Time because that's... That's the time that I get out of work tomorrow, so enough talking about that. We're going to go ahead and throw these Mewtwo's on the bench. I actually want to leave a space open just in case he cannot be attacked by Evolved Pokemon. So I really don't want him to know that I have this Mew in my deck just yet. Hmm. So we will go ahead and retreat the Oranguru. And bring actually, I'm going to go ahead and throw him out. But the ability will still be able to knock out this Mew. That's the problem. See. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your Pokemon evolution. But it's not an attack. It is an ability when he evolves to Greninja. So I do not want to put the Mew on the bench because he will be vulnerable. So I'm, it's still our first turn. We're going to go ahead and retreat. Bring this Mewtwo EX out and click done. We took uh, a little long on our first turn. Our opponent was waiting, so we'll go ahead and end our turn right there so that they can go ahead and set up with their Greninja Break deck. 
Greninja Break deck is a pretty awesome deck. It has made its way back into the meta and it is showing up at a lot of tournaments. If anybody doesn't know, the American uh, International Tournament already ended. I believe it was a Drampa Garb deck that ended up winning. I could be wrong. You guys can correct me. Could be wrong about that, but I think it was the Dramp Guard deck. And uh, one of my subscribers actually plays that deck pretty often and gets a really good streak. Uh, sometimes 12, 13 wins in a row. And I've also seen other people that have gotten some pretty good streaks with similar decks, but different variation of it. So pretty cool. I'm gonna have to be trying that out soon. I do have a Grandpa uh, Garb deck. I don't play with it as much as I probably should. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that out soon. All right, so it's our turn again. We can definitely knock out this Froakie. Um, not sure what our opponent has in their hand or if they don't have anything, but we can definitely go ahead and knock this Froakie out this turn. They don't have any resistance or anything like that. We'll go ahead and throw this Mewtwo out and go ahead and end. I was going to say Lele and Sycamore, but I, I need this slot open just in case right now. Just in case, I need to leave that slot open. And if I need to use Lele later, hopefully I can. We get two max elixirs. So, can we start setting up another Mewtwo on our bench? Let's see. Do we hit an energy? No energy there. We do see a Professor's Letter, which lets us get energy. And another max elixir. Can we hit an energy? Oh, wow. Missing with the max elixirs. I think I'm just going to have to take those out of my deck. Because they're not doing much. Well, at least in this match. But... Hmm, maybe I don't have enough energy in my deck. Should I Ultra Ball? I don't think I need any Pokemon right now. I'm just going to go ahead and knock out this Froki with Shatter Shot. And take our first prize card. We do get a Ninja Boy. So, we could have somebody possibly swoop in like a Lele, for instance. Right now, we're doing 60 damage. Actually, we do more damage with the Mewtwo EX than we would with the Lele. The Lele only does 20 damage, and more than likely, our opponent's not going to be putting damage on their Pokemon. So, the Mewtwo EX is actually a better bet for that. If he does not, if he's not able to get uh, energy off of my Pokemon, I will be able to knock out his Frogadier next turn. So, he needs a Water Energy. I believe that's why he end because he needs to be using Water Duplicates, which lets him put three more. Oh. So that is the game, guys. Victory versus Mewtwo match. All right, we're going to go back in and do one more. Hopefully, it doesn't take that long. I don't want the video to be that long because this is for the RCG. But we're going to go back in one more game, guys, and see if we can have a decent match. It doesn't look like our opponent was getting anything good in their hand with their Greninja deck. That does happen sometimes. It actually happens a lot to me, especially online, more than real life. So, it does say that we have the advantage, and we are going against forthcoming. We will choose heads like always and see if we get, we do win, and we will go ahead. Yes, we would like to go first. Okay, guys. So, no Pokemon in our hand. We will need to redraw. And let's see what we get. Our opponent does have somebody, so they'll go ahead and bring out their active. And we'll click done. Go ahead and get another seven cards to start with. We do get a Tapu Lele, which is not somebody that I really want, but I do see Ninja Boy there right away, so I could go ahead and bring up my Mewtwo EX first turn. So pretty happy about that situation and let's see what our opponent has in store for us right now guys let's see what deck we are going to be going against oh Mew so can use and this is the other Mew from Fates Collide so we're probably gonna be seeing uh oh man what is it it's the monkey Passimian Oh, uh, maybe I'm saying the name wrong, guys. I apologize, but I know it's the monkey. It's the fighting monkey. I think it's Passimian deck that's pretty popular right now with the Muse. So I guess that's what we're going to be seeing. Not 100% sure, but I'm just taking a wild guess because I do see the Mew out. Okay, enough of that talking. We're going to go ahead and Ultra Ball. And we're actually going to... 
use Ninja Boy this turn. So, we're just going to try and get a Pokemon out. We'll go ahead and get rid of one Ninja Boy. And we will go ahead and get rid of... I don't want to get rid of Field Blower. He's not going to be using any GXs. So we'll go ahead and throw the, toy, the Choice Band in the discard pile. Bring out... Maybe the Garb. Just so that I can scare him from using item cards. Or actually, you know what? I don't mind bringing out the Hoopa either. Because he's able to do 22. Two benched Pokemon. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out the Hoopa. See maybe if we can do something with the Hoopa. Now it's not like Tapu Koko. Obviously he does not have a free retreat. His retreat does cost 2. But his hyperspace only costs 1 energy. And does 20 damage to 2 of your opponent's Pokemon. So uh, I just thought I'd try it out guys. I used to use him in the past and then I stopped. We're going to go ahead and attach this to the Tapu Lele and go ahead and Ninja Boy for a Mewtwo EX. And yes, we would like to switch him out. Here's our Mewtwo EX, which I believe does do double damage. It doesn't say it's not affected by weakness or resistance. So it will be doing double damage. To the little Mew, so I only need one energy to knock it out. I will knock it out next turn if our opponent cannot figure something out. Alright, so we have nothing we can do. We're going to go ahead and end our turn right there. We did take a little longer than I wanted to, like always. But, I like to talk to you guys, let you guys know what's going on, and so on and so forth. So, energy lotto, they will look at the top. Seven cards of their deck. Oh, they find a DCE there, and they will be attaching it right away. We'll probably see some Pissimians coming out very shortly throws the fighting fairy belt which is really not going to do much if I attach another energy so he brings out the hoopa let's see will he do 20 damage okay so he used encounter uh, for a second I thought he used an ability and I was like whoa his turn didn't end, but his turn didn't end. He did use encounters. He searched his deck for a Pokemon, revealed it, and put it in his hand. Luckily, we just drew an end, so we're going to be able to remove that. And we also want to get this Fighting Fairy Belt off of him. So we'll go ahead and do that too. We'll Field Blower, buy to the Fighting Fairy Belt, and we will end that other Mew out of his hand. He might get it again. Who knows? But for right now, we should be safe. Okay, so I, I already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and attach here. I'm going to go ahead and float stone. And I'm going to go ahead and well played. This is going to be the second game. Guys, it doesn't look our, like our opponent's got a real good hand. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to get a good game going. But, oh, has anybody been getting this lately? I have perfect signal, but somehow it tells me... And I've heard a lot of people have been getting it, but I don't know if any of my subscribers have experienced it that have very good internet connection. I don't know where it'll just be like, oh, your connection is lost, and then the game is over, um, even if you have a uh, eight-game win streak. Sorry, buddy. Anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and tech and end this game. I'm going to go ahead and well played, smiley face, and knock out this little mute. So, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Like I said, this will be the random comment giveaway video. So, the winners will be announced at the end of this video for the last three videos that I was doing secret questions in. And I know I didn't ask a secret question, guys. So, I don't know. Just leave something in the comments. Some crazy, I don't know, something awesome about Pokemon. Just say something about Pokemon, something about my channel. Whatever you guys want, just throw a comment down in the comments below it's got to be something about pokemon something about this channel or something like that and you'll get your entry for this video i was too into the game and i did forget that happens sometimes but what are you gonna do guys you guys are awesome i really appreciate you guys watching and like i said stay tuned because the rcgs are coming up if anybody did miss it my monthly giveaway announcement was yesterday and i will be giving away 25 guardians rising booster codes plus a chance for the secret rare double colorless energy so if you guys missed that please go check that out so you get your chance to win and if you're new please subscribe to my channel like this video and comment below with all that said like everybody knows it's jp positive and i'm out 
all right guys we're back and this is the random comment giveaway section of this video so if everybody's ready we're gonna get right into it with my first random volcano match that i had if anybody saw it thank you guys for watching and commenting we're gonna see who the first three winners are the way it works is there's gonna be three winners for each video each winner will receive a pokemon tcgo code from me jp positive for those that are new please subscribe to my channel like this video and leave a comment below so that you guys can get your your entry to those pokemon tcg codes as well so with all that said we're gonna get started the first winner is going to be detective craft battling an opponent with the same deck is the best i do agree detective craft it is pretty awesome and i believe i did comment back to you so congratulations detective craft our second winner is going to be of this video is going to be whoops click that again dom gr dark eye used to be op uh, whoa i was about to slip right there and say something else back in the good old days of dark explorers yes dark guy used to be op as duck all right so we're gonna go on see where our third one is dark guy ex is too good yes he is a very good deck yes indeed so we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next video guys congratulations to those three winners for the dark eye deck and let's see who our three winners of this video are. We're going to get right into it. Our first winner is going to be Zoomery, who actually just won last in the first giveaway. So you will be receiving two codes from me. Your positive charge deck is my favorite, of course. Thank you for answering the question. Our second winner is going to be Game X. Forest Revenge is my favorite. Thank you very much, Game X. You will be receiving a free code from me. Congratulations. And our last winner for the Dark High deck is going to be Pedro Cordoba, which was our second place winner for my monthly giveaway. If anybody didn't watch that, I am having the July monthly giveaway, and there is a chance to win a secret rare double colorless energy. So, congratulations to those three winners. We're going to move on to the next video and see who the last three winners of this RCG are. So let's get right into it and see 